Hey, what's up everyone, Same Time Gaming here. Welcome back for another Division 2 Weekly Castle Mendoza Reset. Well, guys, today she is located right outside the castle settlement here. Uh, and if you're gonna wanna know where I found my snake, today I actually found him, you know, right outside the castle settlement as well while coming to Cassie Mendoza. So yeah, and let's take a look what she got for sale today. So uh, we have this cold relation SMG here, the first named item, which has uh, maxed out 10%, you know, headshot damage, perfect strain talent, 15% of crit chance, 13.1% SMG damage. Not that good. I mean, the SMG is good, but the stats are not that good. Uh, then we have the punch drunk mask with 8.7% weapon damage, 20% uh, of headshot damage, 17,772 health. Uh, could be better, but yeah. Uh, shield splinter, soul rifle with his... Uh, 14.9% soul rifle damage, 15.5 health damage, 8.8% stability, and perfect optimist talent. Hunter killer chest piece with 155,429 armor, 10.1% crit damage, 7.1 explosive resistance, perfect intimidate talent. Always nice to see hunter killer sell with um, you know crit damage. So yeah, you can change the explosive resistance to crit chance or hazard protection or armor regen depends on your build. I uh, would highly recommend you guys to pick it up. Okay, uh, next we have the hardwire backpack with 8.2 explosive resistance, a tip of the spear chest piece with 11% weapon damage, 8.3 skill damage, a hunter fury uh, gloves with 11.7% weapon damage, 7.8% 8, of explosive resistance, a tip of the spear knee pads with 11% weapon damage, 5.5% crit chance, hardwire holster with 4184 armor regen, a rigor mask with 10.5 skill haste, File Assault Rifle with maxed out Assault Rifle damage, 10% health damage, 10.7 stability. Bread Basket is the talent. A uh, serious Pistol with 15% pistol damage, 4% of damage to armor. Perpetuation is the talent. The Petrov Defense uh, Group Chest Piece with 10.6% uh, weapon damage, 10% of crit damage, 5.4% crit chance, and Intimidate Talent. It's a pretty okay one. Whenever I see Intimidate Talent on a chest piece, I get excited, to be honest. And it's a Petrov Chest Piece, so you can use uh, this chest piece and like a Contractor Gloves and use an LMG. You know, uh, use new reliable LMG so yeah that would be nice because you will have a lot of weapon handling on that and next we have the Badger Tough Mask which is 136,405 armor 10.7% of crit damage 4.1 crit chance a utility system mod which is 8.9 skill duration a shield uh no what is this SHD CPU what is that turret right it's a turret mod yeah I get confused between turret and drone for some reason I don't know it's just my brain takes the time to process that so we have 6.4% of skill haste. So that's it for Cassie Mendoza, uh, you know, this week. So she's going to sell all these items. If you're interested, come and buy. I would highly recommend picking up the Hunter Kila. Always I do that. And this week, it's a pretty decent one, I would say. Just uh, all you have to do is change the explosive resistance. If you just want to keep that, you can keep that. It's totally up to you. But yeah, if you haven't cleared your Hunter, you won't be able to see Shield Splinter or Hunter Kila in Cassie. So I would highly recommend you to clear your Hunters. Just watch some YouTube videos. You know, there are a bunch of videos on how to clear your Hunter. Just watch them. I uh, cleared your hunter, then you will be seeing these two items. So yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, this week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.